Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the first time that this has ever happened to me when dealing with Alaska rare coins here in Fairbanks, Alaska. So I went over there this morning to pick up some silver because I actually had run out of the one ounce silver rounds for our giveaways. So I went over there and picked these up. These are generics, but ladies and gentlemen, they're 100% silver. These are 3.9 silver. So they're pure silver, and they're very nice. And I think I paid a $28 and change, a little, just a tidbit over $28 for each of these. And I had six, but the story is this. They're almost out of silver at Alaska Rare Coins. And I talked to Dick this morning, and I said, what are you all doing about that? And he said, well, we have several orders in, and one of them will probably be in this week, but the others, we're not sure exactly when they're going to come in. But it's good that they already have an order coming in this week. I actually went ahead and told him to to lock me in on a price for some of the coins that they have coming in this week because I've never seen Alaska Rare coins with such a small silver inventory. Usually they have as much as you want to buy pretty much, but I've never seen them with one with such a small inventory. And uh, that's just a sign of the times, ladies and gentlemen. It tells me that that they're waking up people are waking up to what's going on people are waking up that this right here is real money and i know go ahead and type it in the bottom type it in the bottom on the comments you can't eat silver well go ahead and ask that to someone that is in venezuela right now who's actually buying food people that are actually buying food with gold and i'm sure that if you have silver that they'll take silver just as well and this is not a video to promote silver. It's just something that I thought was pretty interesting that was worthy of letting people know, at least stackers know, people that are interested in silver and gold, know that, you know, I ran into something that I never run into with a local coin shop where it's that they're almost out of silver. And I mean, when I say they're almost out of silver, they were like pretty much empty. They usually have a bucket of silver. I wish I would have taken video in there, but there was someone else in there. Uh, but um, they usually have bucket, a bucket that that's full of silver. And that bucket only had these coins in them right here. Plus, I think one small bar that I left behind because I didn't want the bar. So when I left, that bucket only had one coin in it left. Whereas normally, that bucket is usually pretty full. And they had a few other coins that were going for a premium, and I picked those up for myself. So let me go ahead and show you these, because these coins are beautiful. But ladies and gentlemen, it's a sign of the times that people are starting to wake up to the reality that the dollar, the U.S. Federal Reserve note, fiat currency, is not what the government says it is. Well, actually, it is everything that the government says it is. It's nothing but a note, a piece of paper that promises you that you will get something in exchange for it. But what that something is can't be promised because you never know how many pieces of that fiat currency you will need in order to get something that will give you what you need in order to survive. And silver, ladies and gentlemen, in addition to gold, They've been money since the beginning of time because there is value in this coin. There's no counterparty risk in this coin. The value is already within itself. Now, one thing that I would urge you to do is, is to make sure that before you purchase something, to do your homework and to make sure that what you're getting is real. Check this out. This is one of the, I don't have to do this. This is one of the things that I do, but I don't have to do this at Alaska Rare Coins. I trust the people there. I trust Jerry and Dick. I've been doing business with them for a very long time. But listen to this. You hear that? The way that that tone fades away? That is one of the things that tells me that this is silver. Also, look at the way that it looks. You hear that? That's silver. Of course... If you go to a local coin shop that is reputable and that wants your business and that is honest, you can always ask them to go ahead and put the silver that you're purchasing 
in one of their calibrated machines that has to be calibrated and it will tell you whether it's that metal or not whether it is or it is not silver and they should be able to do it in front of you to make sure that you can confirm yourself that it's pure silver or that it is what you're paying for let me go ahead and show you the ones that I purchased for myself because these are really cool check these out and who knows maybe I'll give one of these away in the future now normally I don't like buying the ones that have colors on them but I've realized something about these that even though they're they have colors on them and even though they have like gold plating like I really don't like the ones that have gold plating on them but like I said I realized something about these uh, the ones that come in the vessel already that uh, that's a good thing I'll show you these later on here but check this out ladies and gentlemen if you take a look at this take a look at it nice and close let me see if I can get it here it just doesn't look like it's in that great of a shape but once you take it out of its vessel you can see that the vessel actually did its work and kept that coin in pristine condition now this here is a 2002 silver eagle and look at this look at how pretty that coin is it is I, I don't even see a scratch on this thing but look at how pretty that coin is it's like almost in perfect condition I'm sure that if I got a magnifying glass out I'd find some micro scratches but this almost looks like a reverse proof but isn't that pretty now this one ladies and gentlemen I really don't like the silver coins that have like gold on it because the gold is not really worth anything but like I said whenever I see them in these little capsules I think that the inside and I checked them at the store usually the inside product it's in really good shape let me see if I can there you go get that but look at this look at how clean and pretty this coin is look at that it's just like immaculate and I know I shouldn't be touching it with my hands and stuff but these these really I don't think have any real numismatic value to it just for myself really but look at how nice and clean that coin is so whoever had these this one is a 2009 no this is a uh, 2005 2005 American Silver Eagle with a little bit of gold plating very nice and my favorite is coming up here in a second let me put this back in there I'll just leave it like that same thing with these now this one's got a little bit of patina on it and this one doesn't but let's see if we can open these up I don't even think I've tried opening these up yet there we go And look at this one. Even though this one's painted, it's got a little bit of a patina on it. Patina? Patina? <laughs> With the American flag wrapped around the uh, Lady Liberty there. And then the back. And for these, I paid a little bit of a premium. About, uh, what, about a dollar more or so than what I paid for the other ones. Let's take a look at this one here. This one doesn't really have as much of a patina as the previous one. But let's see what it looks like. But it's very, very nice and clean. Some people may be saying, man, $30 an ounce, that's just too much. I think I paid $29 and change for these. So $30, bucks, you could say. They're like, that's too much. But the way I see it, ladies and gentlemen, is this. Is... What if I hold on to that money that I spent on these coins, right? And let's say that the price of silver drops to, I don't know, let's say it drops to 20 bucks next month, right? But what's the likelihood that there will be silver in the coin shops, even if silver drops to $20? What's the likelihood that it'll still be there? Like, I just went in there today and silver at $24 and change with a four dollar premium on it and and they were almost out so what's the likelihood that if silver does drop let's say to 20 bucks or so because I do believe that precious metals are gonna drop 
I believe that in the future, precious metals, gold, silver, are going to fall in price, not value, but in price, because we're going to have somewhat of a deflationary event. But will it be available for you to buy it when it falls in price? Will it be available? That's the question, right? I wish I, wish I knew the answer to that question, but I don't. And look at this. This is a silver eagle. Let me see what year it is. This is a 1991 Silver Eagle. Look at how pretty this thing is. This one I think I'm going to put in a capsule. Because look at the patina in this. That thing is beautiful. Look at that. That is just such a pretty coin. That is a beautiful coin. And for being a 1991, it is in such good condition. And this one right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is a 2014. Nothing really special about it. It's actually got a little crud on it, so I'm probably just going to clean that off. Uh, there's really nothing numismatic about this one right here. It's just it's not a bad coin. It's pretty nice shape for being a 2014 with the exception that it's a little cruddy. But I'll, I'll grab some baking soda and scratch everything off. It has really no numismatic value, so I'm just going to clean this, the crud and, and the uh, dirt off of it. And if there's any patina left over, then that's nice. If not, that's fine. Let's see, I have another one that is a beauty. This one is, I think, probably the nicest one next to this one right here. Let's see, next to this one. Look at this. That, ladies and gentlemen, I find it so pretty. Look at that. I mean, that is just such a pretty coin. And let's see what year this is. This one is 1990. 1990, ladies and gentlemen. Is it 1990? Yes. This is 1990. Isn't that a pretty coin? Look at the back. Man, look at the back, how pretty that is. I hope you're being able to see this fine. And then the last one I got, because it's kind of interesting, and this is not something that the U.S. Mint does, this one right here is a 2008, yeah, this is a 2008 Silver Eagle, 2008, but look at the back. This is something that was done aftermarket. The back has like the imprint, it's like a hologram, the imprint of a statue, of the top of a statue. I forget where it's from. But this doesn't really take value away from it. I personally don't think it adds value to it. But it's pretty cool to look at. And you can see a little bit of patina starting to want to wear in. But I just thought this was pretty interesting. The back of it. So that's why I got it. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it. I just thought that I'd share with you my little purchase here. And uh, to let those of you that won a silver coin this month know what you're getting, you're going to be getting these guys right here, all right, which is, like I said, still a pure ounce of silver, and it has just as much value, just so as you know, this has just as much value than one of these as far as silver goes. And although I am not a professional at this, do your own homework, Silver is silver is silver, ladies and gentlemen. So if you were able to have to convert this into fiat currency, you're going to get just as much for this than what you would get for this. This is just something I, I actually personally don't recommend. I personally don't recommend getting uh, silver that has a higher premium unless you just want to get it to have it laying around so you can look at it like for example my old Morgan that I got over here remember I've shown you this one before you know I keep it on my desk and every once in a while I take a look at it I was going to keep it as my pocket coin but I'm not going to but every once in a while I, I take it and I uh, just take a look at it because I think it's a very pretty coin let me know which one do you think is prettier do you think that this Morgan is prettier or do you think that this Silver Eagle is a prettier coin? All right. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining in. I hope you got a little entertainment out of this, if anything. All right. And uh, 
I would say that this is the time to go get your silver if you are in the market for silver. But do your own homework. Make sure you don't get ripped off by people that are selling fake stuff. Right? Go ahead and uh, make sure that if you are going to, uh, do your research. And I always go to a reputable coin shop. And for me, that's Alaska Rare Coins. It just happens also, by the way, that while I was there, someone from the Alaska Prepper community had actually placed an order. And uh, they were holding it for their, their, on their shelf. And I, I looked at it. So I was like, man, I should have gotten here earlier. I would have gotten some nicer coins. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining in. I hope you have a great day. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place. And you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. I'm Alaska Prepper. I'm out.